my name is Sophie and I'm working with a youth project called uh, To Think New, Change Making by Youth. And uh, that was uh, what I uh, talked about uh, when I held the presentation. So what is it? And the youth project is uh, um, both local and uh, within the Jokmok municipality, but also regional. Uh, to um, We have focus on three things. Uh, one of them is uh, to show that opportunities can be created and uh, that uh, you, even as a youth, can do it by yourself to um, um, take your ideas into action and uh, make something out of your dreams. And uh, we also want to show that um, you can do much more development if you meet and talk with each other instead of about. And uh, then we mean mostly young people and adults or decision makers, politicians and so on. And so um, we have had a bunch of meetings and events where young people and decision makers have met and together talked about how they want to develop uh, this city and also uh, the whole Norrbotten region. And then we also work with uh, connecting youth within this uh, village and within this municipality, but also regional to together uh, create new solutions of challenges. And uh, uh, um, I, I'm now for two days over here and I'm really impressed about how the, uh, the power of young people uh, uh, in this place, but also the way that, that adults uh, give the young people the space uh, to be strong. Um, how is it for you to, to live in a place like this? Uh, I think it's very much uh, what you do about it when you live like this. Um, if you think it's uh, boring and nothing to do and uh, no opportunities, it's going to be like that. But if you think uh, and take advantage of all the things that actually are here and see the opportunities and do something about it, it's uh, a lovely place to live in. It's, um, and also if you like the nature, of course, and uh, the surroundings. And I think many people do. Um, but they also have to uh, find a way to stay here and enjoy their living and do something for a living so they can be here. <laughs> and and uh, you attended uh, the conference for two days. Uh, so what were for you uh, your main lessons learned? Oh, that's a really good question. I think uh, one of the biggest things I take with me from these two days are that there are so many people around all of the all over the world that doing so many great things and i think that's uh, give a big hope for the future uh, and it's possible to do things your own way and not uh, adapt to the systems that are that you can go um, behind them or between them and create your own system and uh, when we're going to back uh, and when we are going to be back here in, in a year uh, what has changed? Maybe um, Bollerim have been better uh, within a year from now uh, to show others uh, what uh, things that are done here and maybe we also can uh, find a way to inspire more people to do this in their town or their village. And how are you going to do that? Um, I think we're going to start with uh, invite more people here and find more people that would like to come and uh, uh, both uh, bring they, their parts to uh, the puzzle of how you can uh, develop your community but also show and get inspired by the way people are doing it here. Mm -hmm.